ladies and gentlemen, we are delayed because of train traffic ahead of us. Please be patient. I mean, I've had those moments before where, uh, you know, I try to act like an average passenger. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. I could feel like everything moving, like I could feel the gears underneath my feet. And I can actually ride without holding on to any poles or anything like that. I just stand there, just like arms folded and everything. A lot of things come into play when it comes to having a, a really good ride. You hear a train pulling in, you hear um, track gaps, you hear the announcements, brake release, stuff like that. Any little sounds or adjustments the train makes, you know, that's mostly pay attention to. Some of the new trains make, you know, a certain sound to them. So my favorite train will come in and be like, oh, nice. That's what, for me, is soothing, the sound of the train. I pay attention to a lot of things, from vibration to sound to the wind and what I see down the tunnel. If I hear like the clink clink sound, I know there's a train coming. Oh man, uh, <laughs> from the train rocking from the station, the way it comes down West 4th Street, just the way that it rocks, you can see it from the distance. When the train's rocking like crazy like this or whatever, you know that train's coming in fast and then you'll feel the wind coming in more violently and out of nowhere, <laughs> fucking superb, excuse my language. When you go through each and every signal, you come into each and every station uh, speeding, just, just hauling ass right through the station. Breaking once you get towards the middle of the station, that's when you start breaking. You're putting all your pressure down to stop. You know, like when the train starts up, it goes blah. <laughs> you look out the front of the train, you see the tracks, the tunnels, the whole layout, switches and everything. So I would glance to the left, you see the A train or the F train rising and the A train's below. It's cool to see how the system changes. Listening to it, it's like, awesome because we sit there like a judge like eight out of ten or five out of ten oh this train was nah this train was bad it came in too slow but you learn more standing in that spot how the train works than anywhere else I know the system like the back of my hand, like nothing. From the start of 13, I went through without the entire system to every single station, every single stop, every single area. I haven't got off at the stations, but I've seen every station. So, all 468 stations. It's always been something as a kid, just an inner kid in me, never left, basically, like, I always been interested in trains. When I'm not feeling all right, I just get on the train. School is stress or family is stress, I'll just get on the train, you know. Come home, just different attitude. There's a lot of things that I've had in my life that's happened at home, but I had to use the subway to you know, get away from that. I used to have a lot of times where I had to skip school to help watch my brothers and sisters because of the fact that my mother, she, at the time, didn't really have anybody to help her.
as like a breather, I went to the subway. I use that as like my little bit of therapy. It's an internal thing. I mean, I don't know how to really explain it, but when you feel it, you feel it. 